All right, in this video, we're going to take a quick look at data files. So having a program that can actually read information from a data file instead of reading it from the computer screen or from a keyboard. So this is a data file that I've made up. It has Bill and then his age, Eric, his age, Tim, John, and Luke and their age. So it has separated by each line. And I've saved this file as data. And I've actually saved it as data.txt. So I'd save it as data.txt txt and it would should be saved in the same folder as the actual program that you're going to use so that data has been saved as a data file and then in my python program that's a very quick line so i can call this f or i can call this the file or i can call this uh, input file or something like that i'm just going to call it f for now so f will equal an open data file this is the name of the file obviously data.txt and this is how you're going to open it so r means i'm going to just um, open it to read. You could also open it as W, which would be to write to the file. Uh, you can also open it, there's a few different options that you have, but we're just going to open it at the start just to read the file. So it's basically an input file. Uh, I've created this variable called line1. It's going to read in uh, a string, and then the command that I use is f.readline. And so that automatically reads the first line of the data file. So when the data file opens, it starts at the first line. So basically it's going to read bill into line1, and then line 2 is going to be an integer, and that's going to be read in to line 2. So this 34 will be read in. And then I just print line 1, print line 2. So if we run this program, it reads in right here, bill, and then 34. You'll notice there's a space. What happened is in the data file, there's actually a, um, a new line in here. So after bill, there's a backslash n, which actually drops down a line. So when it reads in bill, it actually reads in bill, and it reads in that new line. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to grab this line of code right here. So after I've read in the first line, I'm actually going to search through that line one. I'm going to look for that new line command, and I'm going to replace it. This is the replace command. I'm going to replace it with nothing. So I'm basically just going to uh, delete it. So now if I run the program, you will see we get bill 34 and there's not that extra space in there because we've deleted that. This doesn't happen with integers. Integers, it just reads in the actual integer. So I could keep going with this program. I could read in line three and then get rid of that, uh, get rid of that new line. And then I can read in line four and I make sure I take out the new line from line four. So this is gonna be read line one as a string, get rid of the new line, read line two as an integer. Read line three to the string, get rid of the new line, read line four, uh, read line four, I forgot the code that actually reads it, so there's line four, read line four, and then get rid of the new line, and then just spit out line one, line two, line three, line four. And I had an error earlier, but Let me show you here. Uh, there it is, bill 34, Eric 65, so it's printing out. And I could repeat this for the entire data file. However, what I'm gonna do instead is create a for loop. So I'm gonna create a for loop and actually store this data into uh, lists instead. That way it'll, I can be much more efficient, use many, uh, a lot fewer variables than I would. So let's switch this code. At the top, I'm gonna have two lists. One's gonna be names and one's gonna be ages. And then I'm gonna step through the data file if I jump back to the data file, there's one, two, three, four, five names. So I'm going to make this run from zero to five. Uh, names is going, so I'm going to add, I'm going to read in the string, and I'm going to add it to the names list. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the new line, and then I'm going to read in the age and add it to the ages list. So that lets me get rid of all of this. And then just as a test, uh, we're going to use a for loop, and we're actually going to print all of the names, and then we're gonna print all of the ages. Let's see how close we get here. There we go. So it read in uh, the first line, put it in the start of the list, that was Bill, and then it spit it out, read in all of the ages. So we could do this. If we had a data file with thousands of data, all we would have to change are these numbers here, and we would read in all the data into these arrays, and then we can do all sorts of stuff with this. We can find averages, we can find uh, highest, lowest values, we can sort them. That is a quick uh, look at reading data files using Python.